Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Reem. I'm a pediatric dentist. In today's video, I'll be talking about your child's first dental appointment. We'll be going over the recommended age for your child's first dental appointment, the best time to schedule that appointment, and getting your child ready for their first dental visit, and last but definitely not least, getting you ready as a parent for that first dental child visit. I get asked this question so many times. When is a good time to bring my child to the dentist? So according to the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, the AAPD, they recommend that you bring your child to the dentist by age one or six months after the first tooth erupts. So primary teeth, baby teeth, usually begin growing in around six months of age. It's important to realize that baby teeth are vulnerable to tooth decay from their very first appearance, usually between 6 months to 12 months. The best time to schedule your child's first dental appointment is not during nap time. We've had times where patients come in and they're sleeping and then we wake them up for their first dental appointment. You definitely don't want to bring your child during nap time. Also, I definitely recommend the age of three and younger, bring them in the morning. They're less grumpy, they're fully rested, and they usually do a lot better then. I mean, we don't expect adults to be happy coming to the dentist at the end of the day. Why do we expect children to be any different? So bring them early in the morning. AM appointments are always recommended. Getting your child ready for that first dental appointment is so crucial. The thing is, we underestimate how smart young children are. Actually, by their first birthday, their brain size has doubled. And at age three, it's 80% of the adult size. And by age five, it's nearly fully grown at 90% of that adult size. So your children need to understand and process that information to be able to cope with that first dental visit. Help them visualize the experience let them know what the first dental visit is going to be like. You can do this by role play, you can bring their favorite stuffed animal, have them count their teeth, open wide, um, brush their teeth, floss. Just talk about what they will be doing at the first dental experience. It'll help them see it. Role play is a great way to do this with your children. Reading them a book is a great way to help them visualize that experience. And it's a fun experience with you and your child. You can go over pictures and a story always helps. Um, I recommend Daniel Goes to the Dentist. It's a great book. Um, you can always do this before bedtime, right a week before, a day before the visit, and it just helps them get excited about the visit. So you can even mark it on your calendar and say, oh, two more days till we go to the dentist and have a fun countdown to get to that point. Just make it exciting for your child. Another great way to help your child visualize the dental experience is by letting them watch a video. I mean, let's face it, your child's probably better at navigating your phone and iPads, so let them watch a good video. The American Dental Association has a video that they've done a long time ago that's really great and it captures all the different things that goes into the dentist. So the video is called Dudley, the Dinosaur Visits the Dentist. There's also a lot of great videos on YouTube about visiting the dentist that I definitely recommend. As a parent, you also need to get ready. This is a new experience for you and it's totally normal to feel a little anxious or nervous. But guess what? Your child is so good at understanding you and sensing your feelings. That means if you are anxious and nervous about the visit, likelihood your child will be too. So be careful not to project your own anxiety and your fear to your child. If your child cries during the appointment, don't be alarmed, don't panic, it's normal. It's very normal for your child to cry at their first visit and it's age appropriate often under three years of age. It usually does not take a long time for the dentist to do the dental visit. So make sure that you're just encouraging them throughout the process and reassuring them that it's going to be okay. Don't be alarmed, don't panic when they're crying. Another way you can get ready for your child's dental visit is by preparing all the information the pediatric dentist will need from you. That includes the child's medical history, uh, their allergies, if they have a list of medications, 
also if they've had surgeries in the past. All this information is crucial for your pediatric dentist because it helps them create an individualized plan for your child. Also, this may include any oral hygiene habits, how often your child brushes, do they have any habits of like, sucking their thumb, or any habits that you're aware of. All these information are crucial, so think about all these different things and be prepared to share it with your pediatric dentist. I wish you the best in finding a pediatric dentist that's right for you and your child. Remember, good habits start young. I sincerely hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.